Okay, let's talk about CBEST math, and I'll make in this video in 2019, but if it is far off in the future, this is still going to apply. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that uh, you know you have an interest in the CBEST, so I don't have to explain to you what it is, but for those of you that are curious, it is a California teacher's basic uh, skills ex exam, okay? So one of the sections is math, okay? And the math that you're gonna need to know for the CBEST is basically at the high school level math, okay? Like algebra and geometry. You're really gonna have to have, sh you know, a strong, um, uh, you know, skill set in these areas. Okay, you don't have to, you know, if you're unless you're taking a C set or you want to be a high school math teacher, that's a different deal and a different test. But for the C best, you need to know, you know, a good amount of algebra and geometry. And kind of like at the core of algebra is your ability uh, to solve equations. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And uh, I want to make clear right up from the beginning, I'm not going to teach you everything about equations. This is not what this video is about. I just want to frame out kind of the expectation what you're going to be seeing. This is a lot of, to cover, okay? So what I'm going to say before we get started is if you really need help with CBS math, if you like my teaching style, um, I offer a CBS math course. You can check out the link in the description below if that's something that you uh, are interested in. Uh, my background real quick, um, I taught middle school math, high school math, college, you know, I'm in math education for many, many years. That's what I do. But I've also had to take, um, not the CBEST or CSET because uh, I didn't teach in California. Um, I took another test, but I relate to, you know, my fellow teachers out there that, you know, these exams you have to prepare for. They're not easy. I actually took the praxis, uh, exam and it took work to you know, put in to study and to do well. You don't want to be retaking these exams, so you want to study in advance. Okay. So with that being said, I want to help you out to uh, kind of set your your level of expectations of how much you need to know for CBS math, and we're going to just focus in on equations for this topic. All right. So let's get right to it. So let's say we have something very basic like this. Okay. And I'm hoping that. Most of you out there watching this can solve this basic equation. Okay, now if you can't solve this basic equation, then you really got a lot of work to to uh, to do. But you know you can get there. Okay, so if you're like, yeah, I could solve that equation. I'm confident with that. Then that's great. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you're you know you totally are in command of the equations that you're going to need to know how to solve for the CBEST. Okay, let's let's kind of add to this here, and I'm not going to be solving these equations just going to kind of give you a sense of okay like what you think you know um and how much of you know of what you think you know and how much more you need to know for the CBEST, if that makes any sense but you'll see as the video kind of goes along all right so let's take a look at a video like or excuse me let's take a look at a uh, problem like this okay now my question to you is can you solve this or do you know how to approach it now if you think you do Okay, then that's very good as well. Okay, so these are just basic examples of linear equations, right? This is like the very, very foundation of what you learn in, uh, let's say, pre-algebra, eighth grade, ninth grade. You know, so you definitely need to know how to solve this confidently. But there's a lot more different type of equations that you're going to need to solve for the CBEST. So let's take a look at some other ones. Okay, so I'm going to write an equation down. And I want you to see if you can identify uh, by name the type of equation that I wrote, okay? So here is an example of another type of equation that's different than the first type. So do you know what this is? All right, so hopefully some of you out there said, well, this is a quadratic equation. Well, maybe even you didn't remember the name of it. But a quadratic equation, this type of equation, is completely different than this type of equation. Okay, there's some similarities, but this type of equation here in um, an Algebra 1 course, uh, it, usually there's a complete chapter dedicated to this type of equation here, how to solve it, uh, what type of solutions there are. It's much more advanced than, than these type of equations. Okay, so... You, you might be saying to yourself, oh, okay, well, you know, I know how to solve these. Well, do you know how to solve these as well? Because this is important, <laughs> you know, for your preparation for the CBEST, okay? So quadratic equations, just real quick, this little two up here, this is a what we call polynomial, to, and its highest power is two, 
Okay, that means that there's going to be two solutions for this type of equation, and it can either be what we call real numbers or complex numbers, and again, things that you'll need to know in order to understand this type of equation, along with other skills that are going to be critical for you to know, like factoring and graphing and all kinds of stuff. So already you can see that the topic of, of equations, you know, it's, it's a lot more than what, you know, um, you know, some of you might think, right? You might be thinking, oh, okay, equations, just things like this. Well, no, not so much. But here's a, the good news is this. In algebra, I would say, yeah, I'm just kind of just uh, recalling off the top of my head, probably like half of the things you study at the algebra one level is, st is solving various types of equations. So equations are a huge topic. Um, and you're definitely going to need to uh, be strong uh, at them, solving various type of algebraic equations for the CBEST. Let's take a look at another type, okay? And by the way, again, I, like I said, I'm not going to be solving these equations. It would just take too much time, and it's that's not the point of this video. You know, you want to reference, you know, um, some of the things on my YouTube channel. You know, I go over a lot of this stuff. I have literally hundreds of videos. So if you like the way I teach, you know, you can check out the videos on my YouTube channel, but Better yet, you know, I would suggest checking out my complete uh, CBS course because I basically teach you from um, the basics all the way up to advanced. But let's take a look at something like this. And I want to ask you, do you think you know what this is and could you solve it? All right. So first of all, what type or what what is this? OK. And could you solve it? All right, so hopefully a lot of you out there say, oh, this is what we call a system of equation. And uh, in order to solve this, we learn completely different techniques than quadratic equations and linear equations, okay? They're completely different techniques. Here we use things like the substitution method or the elimination linear combination method, row operations. There's all kinds of different things. So again, um, another type of system that you need to know for the CBEST. Now, what makes these, or excuse me, another type of equation. Now, what makes these equations? Well, in mathematics, anytime you see a, uh, a statement and you got an equal sign, okay, you're, then you're dealing with some sort of equation, all right? So here, just real quick, um, for a system, just visually speaking, these two things inside these brackets, which is what we call a linear system, you could think of these as lines, graphically speaking, where we can graph on an xy axis, and where they cross is a particular xy point. That happens to be the solution to that equation. Now, in general, um, equations do not have to have a solution. There's no like law that says every equation has a solution. There's some equations that don't have solutions. Okay. So again, just big picture, um, kind of big picture conversation of the top of, equa of equations at the CBEST level. All right. So <clears throat> let's take a look at some other type of equations they might run into on the CBEST. And let's uh, do something like this. Okay. So do you know what type of equation this is and could you solve it? Okay, so this is what we call a radical equation because it has a square root symbol. And the techniques we use to solve this are going to be different than these all these other different type of equations. Okay, And there's other type of things involved as well, stuff that we call like extraneous roots, etc., etc. So another type of equation that you're going to need to know how to solve. Okay, uh, Let's move on to another one. I'm just making these things up. <clears throat> All right, how about an equation like this? Well, this equation we can describe in kind of two ways. One, we can describe it as a rational equation. The word rational in mathematics, uh, you kind of think of the word fraction, okay? So you can see we have like a fraction here. So we would describe this as a rational equation, but this is also this in this particular form, this particular equation, we can even think of this as a proportion. So you're going to need to know how to work with proportions, ratios, rates, that kind of thing, and to be able to solve these type of equations here. Okay. Now this equation, as it's written, is a proportion, <clears throat> and it's a rational equation. But as soon as I do something like this, I add a little x off to it. Well, then I made it more interesting. Okay. Uh, let's do something like this. 
all right? Now, we're going to have to go through some additional steps to solve this type of equation. So, again, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to um, bring you down with this video like, oh, my goodness, you know, you're trying to overwhelm me and this and this and that. No, you know, I mean, listen, you're off to be, you know, you're, you're focused on your goal is to be a California teacher or, you know, that's what you want to do. You know, you got a lot of responsibility. I know, you know, from teaching in the classrooms, so I know what it's like to be a teacher. Okay. You need to know a lot. And uh, let me just go off on a quick tangent here. Um, it's, you know, unless you've been a teacher, you just don't know how much, you know, teachers go through in order to get their uh, certifications and to teach. And uh, it's kind of a shame, but believe me, me as a fellow teacher, I know what you're you're going through, okay? It's like, hey, you do need to know a lot, okay? But if this is good stuff anyways, and you shouldn't have a strong foundation in algebra and geometry, uh, irrespective of what topic you're going to be, uh, you know, uh, subject you're going to be teaching at or whatever level, okay? All right, so these would be like, kind of the main type of equations at the algebra one level. I might be leaving out one or two, but I don't think so. This probably covers uh, definitely the majority. So these right here, you definitely want to know how to solve for the C best. But you also are going to want to maybe take a look at some other type of equations like logarithmic equations, things like this, okay? Uh, you might want to, you know, study extra to even get yourself more familiar with how to solve logarithmic equations, deal with matrices, and, you know, on and on, okay? So, to me, the more you can cover for high school mathematics, algebra, and geometry, the more you can master those skills, the better off you're going to be for the CBEST, and better off you're going to be as an educator. So, anyways, the whole purpose of this video was just to kind of frame out, you know, your... Um, uh, focus, like, hey, you're planning on uh, one particular topic. I'm going to continue to make uh, videos for the CBEST, and I do a lot of, you know, a lot of other test areas as well, GED, HISAT, TAS, CSET, this and that. You know, I, I like to basically help as many people as I can um, with these various tests and uh, full math courses. Math is my passion. That's what I do. So let's go and wrap it up. Again, if you want to check out my uh, CBEST math course, I'll leave a link in the description. If you liked uh, you know, this video, please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that bell notification so you can get my latest videos. And hey, if you enjoy the video, I definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. It's the only way I get better at doing what I'm doing. Last but not least, uh, just as a side, um, my... Um, all my courses and whatnot come under what I call uh, Tabba classes, my um, website and the brand of my courses. So that's why you kind of see that logo there, and that's the name of my channel. But so I basically do my um, teach math in my own style, and you know, there's a lot of great teachers out there. But for me, I love the, you know the independence of teaching online because I can kind of teach in the way I feel, you know. Uh, my personality and my teaching style can kind of come out, you know. So, but anyways, um, I definitely have a um, kind of a connection to all other teachers out there. So in any way I can help you out, whether it's through YouTube video or my full courses or, um, you know, uh, trying to answer some question. If you do have a question, reach out to me. I'll try to get back to you. But anyways, I wish you all the best with the C-Best and thanks for watching. Have a great day.